All right, so here we are. Welcome back to Trace Memory. Um, I've got a little bit of a different setup here, as you can see, but um, we're going to be playing through Chapter 2, Trace Memory, so let's get going. Looking around a little bit here and just making sure I'm not missing anything. We've got D following behind me, our little ghost friend. Let's see what puzzles and stuff we get to this time. Because it's been a while, I don't really remember what's coming up. This mansion is enormous! So this is where Franny lived. I can't believe the size of this place. What's your house like? I live in an apartment on the fifth floor. Oh, I suppose you don't have a butler either. A butler? Are you kidding? They had one here. His name was Wells. Is that something he's remembering now? Do you think he was born with such a butlerish sounding name? I'm not really sure. That's not the point of the story. Anyway, when my father and I visited here, he showed us around. When you visited here? Yes. You mean that you and your father were guests here? I suppose. What kind of relationship did your dad have with the Edwards? I can't... Wait! Oh. Father was raised in this house. Oh! What's wrong, D? Ashley, I remember now. That time that we visited here. What about when you visited here? Father received a letter, and after he read it, he said that he had to get here and see him. He said he had to go to the house he grew up in to see him. And that's what brought father and me to the island. Who's him? The person who sent the letter? Or someone else? I don't... I can't remember. It's okay, Dee. I bet you'll remember everything once we get inside the mansion. Alright, so that's all in that conversation line. Oh, going into the foyer. <laughs> if that's how you want to say it. <laughs> Okay. A painting hangs on the wall. Oh. Oh. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and then one blank blank eight. And then. Okay. I think I remember this puzzle. It's so empty here. I feel like I should whisper. Where could Dad be? Ashley, this is the foyer that leads to the rest of the mansion. Really? So there must be a room on the other side. I bet Dad's there. And Jessica, too. Ashley, who's Jessica? Oh, now I get to talk. She basically raised me. She came to the island with me. Is she your mother? No, she's my Dad's little sister, but she's kind of like my mom. What's she like? She teaches high school. She's really smart and a great cook. Hmm. When we got to the island, she went to look for Dad. She hasn't come back. Oh yeah, wait a sec. Huh? That's Jessica. She looks nice. She is. Hmm. And I guess that's all. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I think there's another picture. Yeah, on this side. Yeah. So it's one, one, two, eight. Is the code because of the order of the Roman numerals and then... A bird statue adorns the room. A circle is cut out of the base. It's a statue of two birds, each with the end of a branch in its mouth. What's this? The base has some sort of inscription. Four leaves sprout. Together they open the doors. What's that supposed to mean? Do I have to... Dang it. I have to actually, like, observe the paintings. So, give me a second. Oh, why did it just slow down there? Painting hangs on the wall. In this painting, the bird holds a sprout in its bill. What? Oh yes! This is a hummingbird! How can you tell? 
The hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world. It flies like a bee and uses its bill to suck nectar from flowers. So these birds live off of nectar? You know a lot about them. Did you like birds? I might have. Okay, is that it? Numbers are written on the sprout in the bird's beak. What could they mean? Okay, so now I think she gets it. Okay, so now I have to go to the other side. And do the same thing. It's that Resident Evil syndrome again. The painting hangs on the wall. Isn't this painting pretty? Ashley, what is it? This painting. Yeah, it's a hummingbird, right? You said that. No, it's not that. What's going on, Dee? Oh! Franny! Dee, do you see this painting? This painting holds a secret. Oh, yes! What is it, Dee? Ashley, I remember. If you put these two paintings together, they make one. Two make one. Together? These are secret paintings. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, Franny told me the bird paintings hold a secret. It takes two to make one. That's kind of cryptic. It means that if you take the two paintings and stack them... Stack them? How? Well, you have to imagine it. But if you can imagine it, you can see the hidden picture. Stack the pictures to reveal... Oh, okay. I can do better than just imagining. I'll use the DTS. DTS? What's a DTS, Ashley? This. Oh, you use that to show me Jessica's picture. Is that a camera? It's not a camera, but I can take my pictures and stack them and move them. I see. That's neat. My father made it. Is your father an inventor? No, he's a scientist. What does he study? Human memory, I think. Oh, yeah. Jessica said that my dad wanted to tell me something. It's something he only wants me to know, so he sent the DTS. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Ashley? Yeah? Try stacking the paintings of the birds with that thing. I will. Alright. So, now do I just take that picture? Now I have to go take a picture of the other one? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already know the code. Painting hangs on the wall. But I think you might have to stack them. So, now let's go to the DTS. Mm, camera. Okay. Stack that. How do I? Oh. 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 Uh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Wait. Maybe? Painting hangs on the wall. Now, can I... Huh. How am I supposed to do that? I mean, I know the code already. Can I just... What's that supposed to mean? Ah, oh, I can't do it until I look at the pictures, but I can't remember how to do it. Um, all right, let's see. Did I just delete it? I think I just deleted it. I can't move it down to the other screen. But then how do I add a picture up there? Dang it. I gotta retake the picture of it. Because I can't just... Maybe if I'm over here when I do it. 
Yeah, see, it doesn't really... I know the code already. See, how do I do it? Oh, and then, there we go, okay, now I just gotta line it up a little bit, yeah, 1128, I knew that's what it was, <laughs> now will it let me do it? The wall is old and cracked. <laughs> ah. Maybe I have to look at the door. Oh, because the door has the number pad. What's the code? Alright, so it's... One... That's annoying. <laughs> Two... Eight. I love the little victory chime. I unlocked it. Okay, now let's go through. Slate Hall. I love the door animations in this. It's awesome. Bunch of different rooms. The door is locked. Okay. That one's locked too. So that's got two leaves and a in gold. Four leaves in bronze. Hey, what's the matter? Is someone there? What? Where? No, it's just a picture. Let's go check it out. Oh. It's just a painting. I thought maybe you saw my dad. I'm sorry. Hmm. But this picture, who is it? It's my great-grandfather. So this must be your father's grandfather. Yes. Look at the bottom left. There's a name written on the canvas. Lawrence Edward. Oh, great-grandpa. I'm so happy you came. Yes. What just happened? Ashley, I remember now. Father came here to see my great-grandfather, who was ill. That makes sense. Hey! Do you hear that? A piano. Oh, it's coming from the music room. Now I remember there was a piano in the music room. Portrait hangs on the wall. This was your great-grandfather, right, Dee? Yes, he was. It's an old portrait of a man. He looks dignified. There's a name on the portrait. Lawrence Edward. Okay, we already went through all that. So let's go find the music room. Butler's room. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe there's extra stuff in here. Actually, yeah, I think there, I think there is extra stuff in here. The floor is covered with dust. Leather sofa's dingy. There's nothing under it. What about this one? The other sofa is dingy. There's nothing under it. It's a large fireplace. There's no fire going. Oh, but I can look closer. There's charcoal in the fireplace. Oh, I think I need that charcoal later. But I'm not sure. The bed sheets are rumpled. Let's keep looking. Nope. I know there's something over here. A large desk sits in the room. There's a notepad on the desk. This notepad is new. Does that belong to your father? Yeah, maybe. There's nothing written on it, but the top page is torn off. Hmm. What's wrong? Whatever was written on the torn off page left an impression. What was written on the page? Oh, I remember this, but I'm going to grab this little card first. A small card lies next to the pad. What's this DTS card doing here? Got a DTS card. This message pops up after I put the card in the DTS. Ashley, 
I know you came to this room in search of me. I'm so happy, Ashley. I can't wait to see you. I'll tell you all about Trace and your mother when we meet. I will be waiting for you in a room deep inside the mansion. A room deep inside the mansion. Dad's here. He's here. I need to find him. I don't understand what he's doing here. And what is Trace? I have to find Dad. He'll tell me about Mom and Trace. He'll explain everything. I'm coming, Dad. Alright, so now... Pencil? Impressions are new on the page. What was written on the page that was torn off? Oh, no, the pencil lead broke. Now what? Crud. Ashley, do you have anything that would work in place of the pencil? Let me think. And that's where the charcoal comes in, I'm pretty sure. So let's go back to the fireplace. There's some charcoal in the fireplace. It could be useful. Charcoal? What are you going to use that for? Oh, it could come in handy. You never know. You're a strange one. Got some charcoal. Alright. Large desk. Page was torn off. Impressions on the new page. Uh-oh. Oh. Here we go. Charcoal. I'll use the charcoal to find out. It'll work just as well as a pencil. Okay, so there's part of it. Bill. Say Bill will come. Oh man, this takes forever. Shouldn't it just be done when I can see the... There we go. Yeah, Bill will come. Okay. I was going to say, it's got to be done any second now. I can read what's written here. Bill will come. Who's Bill? I don't know. I wonder who wrote this. Okay. Let's check out some more. See if there's anything else on the desk, like any of the drawers or anything. Let's see. The desk has layers of dust on it. Okay. Books? Human anatomy? Ah. Uh, the blue book is written in Latin. I can't read it. The nature of memory. In the drawer is a small card. Oh, those are the like the secret DTS cards. The books are knocked over. So I got one of the secret ones. So let's go out and look at the DTS. DTS card zero. Dearest Ashley, I'm sorry for not picking you up, but I finally completed Trace. Sayoko's and my efforts have finally paid off. we are waiting for you in the mansion past the gate. Okay, so that's one we already found. I know you came to this room in search of me. I'm so happy, Ashley. I can't wait to see you. I'll tell you all about Trace and your mother when we meet. And that's the one we just found. Oh, DTS card 901. Richard's Journal. When I'm stuck on a problem in my work, I find the best way to work through it is just to leave it for a little while. I do this by picking up a book and heading down to the Porter's Lodge. The fresh air gives me a chance to clear my head. At the lodge, I like to sit on the wooden chair by the window with Sayoko's photo close by. Sitting there, my heart carefree. I always think of the afternoons I'd spend with Sayoko in the sunny living room of our Seattle house. By the time I'm done reading, I'm filled with a warmth that seems to burn off the haze in my mind. The Porter's Lodge is the best spot for reading. Huh. That's pretty cool. Cool. So we found one of, like, the secret um, DTS cards. 
The bookshelf has many books. Oh, that looks like... It's a book with a white space. Oh, I don't know of the puzzle yet, so I can't grab it. Um, it's a large wardrobe. Inside the wardrobe is an old envelope. The envelope isn't sealed. Is there a letter inside? I think so. The letter in the envelope reads, My beloved father, please forgive me for going again against your will and pursuing my career as a musician. I have endured many trials since that day I left the mansion, but I am content to live the life that I've chosen for myself. I have taken a wife and am the proud father of two children. I am looking forward to the day that I will be able to return to the mansion and speak with you. Your son, Leonard Edward. Leonard Edward? Who's that? Leonard Edward. Hmm. I just can't remember. Don't worry about it. It'll come back eventually. I hope so. Alright. So that's all that was in that one. It's a large wardrobe. What's in here? The wardrobe is an old album. I love looking at old photos. Hmm. You might be in some of these. We should take a look. That's a good idea. Inside the photo album, each photo is dated and captioned. The first photo shows two boys. The p photo is yellow with age. July 1924, the boy is playing in the yard. Young sirs Henry and Thomas are growing so quickly. They're as thick as thieves and virtually inseparable. Henry is very protective of his little brother. Okay. The next photo shows two boys. Their smiles are bright. August 1932, the boys playing football. Stern and powerful Henry, honest and gentle Thomas. Being around the two boys, one cannot help but smile. The master of the house is the happiest to see his boys growing. Okay. The next photo shows two men. Both men are dressed in suits. September 1934, portraits, portraits of the two young men. Henry wants to become an artist and Thomas a novelist. Now that each of the boys has grown to adulthood, the master would like nothing more than to see them in the careers they want. Henry and Thomas. The graves at the cemetery where I met Dee were theirs. So they were brothers. Henry? Thomas? Dee, do you know who they are? Um... Look at the pictures in the album. Do they bring anything back? I'm not sure. No, I don't remember anything. I can't. Hmm. Last one. Ooh, a notebook and a scroll sit inside. There's a w also a wooden case. Let's see what the notebook says. All right, Ashley. <clears throat> On the cover of the notebook, it says the butler's records. 1916. I understand now. After Leonard passed away from the illness, the master took over guardianship of his grandsons. The master created the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room in preparation for their arrival. 1930. The two boys have outgrown me. They've become strapping young men. Thomas has joined his older brother Henry at Ivy University. Stern and strong Henry. Honest and gentle Thomas. The master of the house is delighted to see the boys growing. Find an Finding a successor is no longer a concern. 1936, Sir Henry marries. 1938, Sir Thomas marries. Hmm. December 1940, the day we feared has come. Sir Henry and Sir Thomas will be entering the battlefield. The war is getting worse and they are headed for the front lines. When I think about how Master must feel, I am speechless. All I can do is pray for their safety. September 1945, the day we've been waiting for has arrived. They have returned. What an extraordinary luck that Sirs Henry and Thomas have come home at the same time. Oh, happy day. But the emotional and physical scars they've sustained are large. We pray for quick recoveries in both areas. 1946, Master writes his will. 1948, Master falls ill. Per Sir Henry's request, both the golden and silver bird rooms have been locked and the key was turned over to the two birds. The key was turned over to the two birds. What does that mean? I don't know. But we're going to find out, I'm sure. It's a rectangular case. There's a silver medal in the case. Oh, I hate these. Why? Um, I hate these puzzles. Like, seriously.
Dang it. I really don't like these puzzles. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out which one is going to be the one that's empty, which I think is the bottom. Oh, but now... Oh, I think I got it. Did I do it? I did it! Sweet! <laughs> I'm horrible at those. <laughs> cool, I opened the case. I got the silver medal. Awesome. Wait, no, oh, there's another thing in there that I didn't look at. Notebook and a scroll sit inside. I didn't look at the scroll. Oh, I wasn't pointing directly at it. The scroll is tattered. <clears throat> oh, okay, so Lawrence married Helen. Gave birth to Leonard, who married somebody. Henry and Thomas. Henry and Mary had a baby, and Thomas and Jane had a baby. It shows a family tree. This is the Edward family tree. Yes. So maybe I should take a picture of this for later. Cool. Alright. So now I think we have everything we can get in here. So we've got all that stuff. Now we can go in the music room, I think. Yep, music room. There's a piano here. Yeah. Let's see if we can look at anything up here. The room's deserted. Spooky. <laughs> Says the ghost. Papers litter the floor. What is this? Here's what one of the pieces of paper says. Because of our reasons for developing trace, we couldn't avoid considering the following point as we continued. Our research in the heredity of memory. The person involved in the development and application of trace must understand completely how much a person's memories affect his or her sense of identity. This is a section of an essay about trace, but why is it lying around here? Trace? Yes. Ashley, what's trace? It's the project my parents were working on when they disappeared. Seems to be a device that has something to do with memory. Memory? Device? I don't really get it either. I got part of an essay. Oh, and I picked up all the papers. Um, so what's over here? The bookshelf holds many books. But I can't look at it, apparently. The chair is plush. Is there anything on the table? There's nothing on the table. I mean, there's got to be something over here if I can look at it. Maybe I have to find the puzzle first. So here's this. Who's that? There's a portrait on the wall. A man sits in front of a piano. I wonder who he is. Hmm. Do you know who he is? No, I don't. That man looks like a musician. A score sits on the piano. There's a piano in the room. Of course there is. It's this same room. I wonder whose picture it is. I wonder whose picture it is. Okay. What's in here? The vase is made of porcelain. It's a small shelf. The piano is all dusty. I bet the sound we heard earlier was the piano. Yes, that was it. It's kind of out of tune, but the room is empty now. Who would play a piano and just run off? Play the piano? Who? Um, okay, so this is where I get the puzzle. White books occupy the top shelf. I wonder what kind of books these are. They have the signs of the zodiac and letters on the spine. Oh! Play the piano and open doors. Wait a minute. 
What's wrong? Ashley, I remember. My father taught me that by playing the secret melody on the piano... Secret melody? I could make the hidden doors appear. What? Zodiac and letters. Maybe if I rearrange the books. Um... Okay, so I don't have all the... I don't have all the books. I think I'm missing like three. I think I need more books to do this right. Because I, I'm pretty sure it spells out Henry and Thomas. I swear there's one of the white books in here. Bookshelf holds many books. Holds many books. Oh, come on. Give me a white one. Okay. Never mind then. Um, so I've got to go... I know there's another... There's one of the books in here. The bookshelf has many books. Look, that, this looks like the books in the music room. Yes. Got the book with the Y. Okay. Now... There's got to be more somewhere. But I don't remember where they are. I think there's one, like... The vase is made of porcelain. What's inside the vase? Can I, like, look into the top of it? No. It's a small shelf. Okay. Guess not. Hmm. Can I get into either of these rooms? Is this one locked, too? The door is locked. Okay. Um... Okay. So I still need an E and an N. Which have got to be somewhere. There's got to be something to this. The bookshelf holds many books. The wall has water stains on it. Okay, what does that mean? Ugh. I really do not remember <laughs> where all this stuff is. But there's got to be something over there, right? It's an old piano. Signs of the Zodiac are on the keys, but I can't play the keys. Yeah, I can't play the keys until I find all the books and put them in the right order. So where the hell are the books? <laughs> I'm missing something. Oh, I got the... You know what? I got that silver medal. And there was a hole. Okay, I just remembered something. Next step. There's a statue base has a hole. It looks like something in the hole used to hold. So, if I go in here... Silver medal. I put the silver medal in the hole. What was that? Something fell from their bills. Is this? It's a sprout key. Sweet. So I got a key. Which opens this door, I think. Item... Sprout key. I used the sprout key. The door's unlocked. 
Golden Bird Room. Ugh, it's hot. It stinks in here. Yes, it's a terrible stench. I didn't know ghosts could smell. What was that? Oh, nothing. <laughs> All kinds of stuff around here. There's nothing under the sofa. What's this book? It's a book of poetry. Okay. Decorative plate is on the floor. <laughs> nothing seems particularly odd. There's nothing odd about the plate on the floor. Bookshelf holds many books. There's the E. And we just need an N. Looks like the book we saw in the music room. Book with the letter E. Is there anything in here? Large vase sits on the mantel. It's empty. Okay. Alright, so that's all we needed from over there, I'm pretty sure. Can't even look at those. What's up here? Oh. Uh, on the desk is a wooden case. Oh. It's empty, but it looks like a gun case, doesn't it? Yes. What's wrong, D? Wait a minute. What? That case did hold a gun. The last time I saw it, there was a gun inside. So someone took the gun out. Yeah. There are dolls on the desk. These dolls look kind of strange. Are they angels? This doll is holding a drum. The dolls are scattered about. Okay. There's a red lamp. There's some old leather books. There are many dolls. Okay. So I know I need the one with the um, with the drum later for something. It might actually be in here. Oh, come on. There we go. There's something in the cabinet. What? There's a white can. There's ceramic water in can. Oh. That glass is very pretty. Ashley, that glass. What about it? It's the golden bird glass. Franny's father treasured it. It's weird going through stranger stuff. There's so much of it. Life is always messy, Ashley. What do you mean? The living leave traces of themselves wherever they go. I never thought there was... Didn't read it, sorry. And once you're gone, it's the traces that tell the story. Alright, so that's the other part of the key. Glass is really fancy looking. Hey, I see something in the glass. I got the second sprout key. So now I go in my stuff. Sprout key, use it. I use the item. This isn't right. <laughs> uh, second sprout key. Okay. So I think I have to go look at the other door first. But I've got everything in here. Actually, you know what? I would just want to check out the other things. I want to make sure I'm not missing any, like, blue... blue cards, because I might have missed one already. Actually. Another sofa. It's bare. It's a table made of marble. There's nothing on it. Shelves are normal. Okay, so I can't even look anymore. Well, if I missed it, I missed it. If I don't get the good ending, I'm not too worried about it. If you guys want to see the complete ending, I use the sprout key. This key doesn't work. Use the second sprout key. It won't open. Why? Is this the wrong key? I don't understand. What are we going to do? I'm not sure. Oh, wait! Um, okay. So grab that. Rotate it that way. And then put it like... That? Oh. Come on, do the thing where you... Isn't that it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I can put it in the lock. There we go. 
Oh, but I have to turn it manually. Oh, come on. Turn. Okay. <laughs> Some of those controls are really wonky. It's open. Silver bird room. Alright, let's see what we can find in here. Is there anything in this drawer? The drawer is empty. What's this on the floor? Books are scattered on the floor. The bookshelf holds many books. And there's the end. That's the last book we need. There's a book with a white spine. Hey, there's a letter and a design on the book spine. It's the same as the ones we saw in the music room. Yes! Got the book with the end. Actually, let's look at the fireplace. The fireplace is chipping in places. Looks like an old vase. Nothing in the vase. Let's go up here. Papers litter the desk. Oh, it's one of these torn up pieces of paper. The paper is writing on it. I'll piece it back together and find out what was written on it. Alright, so you gotta, like, do one of these again. Maybe. Is that not it? I don't think that's the right piece. Alright. Um, so I think that one probably goes here. No, because those don't fit together. Oh, so that one does fit there. So this one must go up here. Because, yeah, it kind of, like, auto-places when you put it in the right spot. And this one must go right here. And then this one goes down here. Do -do 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 -do. Done. Now I can read what it says. 1946. Henry is acting strange. He won't, he won't look at me and he doesn't say a word. His wounds have healed, but it seems he has far deeper injuries. I'm worried, because he seems like a different person completely. Why is this page torn out? Okay, well, look at the journal first. Paper scraps litter the desk. Okay, now what's in the journal? <clears throat> Something is written on the pages. When Henry said that he wanted to pursue art, Grandfather smiled and encouraged him to follow his own path in the end. After all, each person is given but one chance for happiness. We should all follow our chosen paths. Wells says that Grandfather wants me to be his successor at the Edward Company, but I don't think that is an option. The only person who can follow in his footsteps is Henry. This looks like someone's journal. I feel weird reading it. Hey, a page is torn out of the back. And that was the page that we piece back together. Several books are lined up. One book has fallen over. And we can look in these. The cabinet displays white vases. I'm pretty sure there's something in one of these. One of the little cups. No? Am I wrong? Am I remembering incorrectly? I guess I am. Is there anything in the drawers over here? There's nothing in the drawer. What about this drawer? There's nothing in the drawer. What about that drawer? Oh, there's blue cloth on the chair. Can you see the drawer? Okay, that's just the chair. Okay. So, that's everything we need in here. Um, oh. But, oh. There's a big stain on the rug. What is it? Juice, perhaps? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Father. Juice, perhaps. <laughs> Stop. You don't have to do this. No. What happened? The stain on the rug. It's my father's blood. What the? Ashley, I saw it. My father was lying on the rug, dead. Oh, no. D. Okay. The rug has a huge stain on it. It's right there. The birdcage has fallen over. What's this birdcage doing on the floor? 
this birdcage. Ashley, what? That birdcage fell. Oh no. The birdcage. <laughs> what happened to that birdcage? I saw it. My father drenched in blood. He was lying on the rug. Then someone saw that I was there and knocked the birdcage over in a hurry. He came from this room. Who was it? That... Oh! Wait. Yes. It was... It was the man in the black sweater. Okay. The man in the black sweater? I have to think. The man in the black sweater. He's the one who shot father. But why? Okay, no explanation. <laughs> Clock is frozen in place. The windows. The what? The windows look out to the woods. Okay, I thought for some reason it said the windows look out to the windows. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to block that light. It's kind of blinding. Um. So I, like, literally just moved into this room. So there will be a little bit more, like, reorganizing to make it a little bit better. White books copy the shelves. I wonder what books these are. They have zodiac signs on the spine. So do I use... All right, book with a Y. Do I have all the books? I do have all the books. All right, so we're going to spell... Henry... And Thomas. So the book spell Henry and Thomas. So what did I find out from this? <laughs> I know what you found out. Let me look at it again. The bookshelf holds a lot of books. Can I take a picture of that? I can. Sweet. All right. It's an old piano. I think all we have to do is play the signs in order. Oh, and it shows it to me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, did it. And there goes the bookcase. All right. The bookshelf moved. Yes. There was a hidden door behind the bookshelf. I'm a musical genius. <laughs> I'm not bad. Come on, D. Oh, yeah. I'd better go over this again one more time. I don't want to forget the important stuff. Oh, this must be the end of the chapter. We do, we do, we do. <laughs> Dee and I entered the mansion once, occupied by the Edward family. We were hoping to find my dad and more clues to Dee's past. In the foyer, there were two paintings and a sculpture of birds. A sprout key that was hidden inside the bird sculpture opened. Um, the the golden bird room. Right, the sprout key opened the door to the golden bird room. To get the sprout key, I used the metal from the butler's room. I discovered from the wardrobe in the butler's room that Leonard, the son of the master of this mansion, Lawrence, left the house and had two sons. Leonard fell ill and died young, so Lawrence gained custody of the boys, Henry and Thomas. In the preparation for their arrival, Lawrence arranged two rooms. These two rooms were called the Golden Bird Room and the Silver Bird Room. Right, it was the Silver Bird Room. The, mis the mysteries linger. D still can't remember the name of his father. And I still haven't found my dad. But I have been able to find clues to lead me to him. The DTS card in the butler's room said dad was in a room in the back. And the message that was on the white notepad had a name on it. The name was... Bill. Right. The message said, Bill will come. But who is Bill? Before finding the hidden door in the music room, I encountered a puzzle in the white books. I solved the puzzle by finding three books. One had the Y spine, Y on the spine, another had an N, and the third book had an 
E. Right. I found that the book. I found that book in the Golden Bird Room. I used the books to play the melody that opened the door. Hold on, Dad. Hold on, Dad. I've come this far. I'll see you soon. Yes. Now I won't forget. Chapter three: Memory of Franny. So, um, actually, I'm going to leave this episode here because it's actually a pretty good length. So that's the intro to chapter three. Oh, and we've just gone through the door, but I'm going to save here. Chapter two, entrance, save. Data saved. All right. So uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.